Well, here we are six weeks before our average last frost date and today I'm starting my cucumbers. Now cucumbers are one of those things that are somewhat controversial. A lot of people say don't start them inside. They don't like their seeds disturbed. They do better when they're outside, which for some experiences that may be. I always like to start a few early and I'll plant a lot more in the ground later, but this way I have found that I do get cucumbers even a couple of weeks early, which for me, I like. This is one of those risky things because I have had some of them damaged before, but again, if eight or nine times out of 10, I'm getting a little bit of an earlier harvest, for me, I'm okay to do that with these cucumbers. I am gonna start them out. I'm just gonna be growing one plant per pot. I'll probably start two or three seeds, but I will trim them off one per one of these pots, and that's gonna grow in there for the next five to six weeks until our average last frost date. Because once I plant them out, I am going to, if we get a frost, cover them, because I'm not doing too many. So first thing, I'm just gonna be growing this normal old national pickling cucumber. We really like them, they grow pretty fast, and they're just a good little snacking cucumber or for pickles. And like I said before, all these that I'm planting now are just gonna be for in my upper kitchen garden for snacking this year. And then for the big crop garden down below, I'm going to be direct seeding all of those seeds once the frost has passed. I'm really hoping this year that that will work out well with the two different gardens, just so I can kind of wrap my brain around the whole process. So next I have this white spine cucumber. Again, it's just another kind of pickling style, but it's white spine because those little dots you see on the cucumbers, the little spines they call them, they're usually black. These ones are white. I'm not really sure how much that affects the flavor. We'll maybe do a little taste test this year and see how that goes. Next up, we have this a tasty green cucumber. This was one of my favorite cucumbers last year. It was super prolific and just really big cucumbers. They didn't get bitter at all, like some of the bigger cucumbers can get when they get too big. And they just kept producing all summer long, all the way up to the frost. They had a really mild flavor, but it was super refreshing. These are an F1 hybrid, so saving the seeds, you might not grow the same plant next year. I mean, it's worth a try. But in my experience, cucumber seeds can last for a few years if stored correctly, and there's quite a few in here I'll probably be able to plant next year. Oh, and of course, I'm forgetting to label everything. So again, I still haven't got labels, but I got these little guys Got national pickling i'm just going to call the other ones white spine and tasty green so next was probably my second favorite cucumber last year and that is this mini white cucumber it's just a mini white cucumber they can be used for pickling but um, we just were eating them fresh they were so good there was no bitterness almost a little bit of a sweet flavor really really enjoyed these ones i only have see seven seeds so we'll plant them all so next up we have this salt and pepper cucumber it looks from the description just like the mini white but we're going to kind of compare it because i did find those white blonde cucumbers we really enjoyed them in the garden so most of these cucumbers are going to be for fresh eating and then the ones down there will be for preserving for preserving wise we mostly just do pickles and relish I'm not really sure if anybody else has any other ideas on how you preserve your cucumbers. And then for fresh eating, we just eat them right out of the garden or in salads. They're great for, you know, just quick little snacks for lunches and stuff like that. And, you know, they're just really refreshing because cucumbers are mainly water. Hence why when you're growing cucumbers, you need to make sure you water them lots. Because that's a lot of times why they can get bitter is because they're not being watered enough. Next up, we have a silver slicer cucumber. This one is new to me as well. So this is a white cucumber, but a large sized one. I have not grown the large sized ones yet, so that'll be really interesting. Still haven't really decided where I'm going to plant the cucumbers yet this year. I kind of don't always do a garden plan. I'll usually just kind of over the course of these few months, think in my head of the garden and imagine it and where I'll be, you know, walking around and where things can be put. And then as I need to plant things, I kind of see what space is open in an appropriate spot and plant it. I'm not saying you should do this. It might not be the most effective way to garden, but it's just kind of how my brain works. And I mean, the last few years, it seems to have worked for me. But of course, with cucumbers being viney plants in the raised beds, I'm going to want to have some sort of trellis. I have the trellises all up the back of those ones, so that's probably where they're going to end up. And as I'm thinking and talking out loud and sharing with you, I've just come to realize is maybe I'll put them up top where I had all the tomatoes last year. I can just have a big row of cucumbers up there. To be honest, I don't think that's the best practice. If you're looking at, say, that crop rotation, I don't think cucumbers should follow tomatoes. I don't really follow those rules all the time. As long as you have really good nutrient-dense soil, you're, you know, fertilizing it, and you don't have problems with diseases or maybe pests i just kind of do what i do next we have a new one this is a little potato cucumber 
just kind of looks like it almost looks like a kiwi fruit to me but i just like growing the different shapes one the last few years i've grown the lemon cucumbers so i'm not growing that this year we're going to try these potato little potatoes instead i'm not sure with the skin looking like that if they're going to be like tough or not but you can always peel cucumbers. Okay, and then lastly, we have the dragon's egg cucumber. We did grow this last year. It was a neat little cucumber. We're going to be growing it for the dragon garden. Now, again, this is totally optional. You don't really need to be starting cucumbers this early. This is just so I can get a jump start on the season. But they are perfectly great to be planted directly in the soil after your last frost, which I'm going to be doing as well. Sometimes they catch up. Sometimes these will produce a week or two ahead. So it's just, again, totally up to you. Don't feel like you're missing out if you're not starting your cucumbers now. It's one of those, I'm going to do it because I'm going to take the risks. Because again, cucumbers don't like their roots to be disturbed, so I have to be really careful as I'm growing these. I don't want them to outgrow their pots. The timing can be kind of off if we get a late frost. But I'm all about taking the risks in the garden. So you can just go ahead and watch me be risky and then be safe with your decisions or... Be risky right along with me. Now, one thing I do want to start and I don't have seeds for and I didn't even realize is cucamelons. Growing these the last few years, love them. They're also called mouse melons, Mexican gherkins. They're just little tiny. They look like little watermelons. They're kind of like, I think, a love or hate thing. A lot of people grow them and they don't like them. They take a really long time to start, but then once they do produce, they produce pretty well. We like them just for like a little snack in the garden. The kids like them. I don't, I like them. They're just taste almost like a to me a really a really mild watermelon rind kind of but again something fun to grow in the garden i'm gonna have to go pick up some of those seeds and i will start them in the next week or two because like i said they get a long time to get growing with all of these as well with the cucamelons i am going to do a little experiment and i am going to put some seeds when i plant these out like these transplants once they're grown and i plant them in the garden i'm going to plant a seed beside each of them and then maybe or maybe some of them because that's a lot to do more of each maybe some of them and just see an experiment if they do catch up or if they don't. So that's all we're starting here at six weeks. It's starting to get a lot less stuff because pretty soon here, I'm gonna be planting seeds directly in the garden. I actually would be doing it probably this week, but see, we get some snow. But once the snow melts, I'm gonna be starting another series all about direct seeding in your garden before your last frost. We'll still be continuing this series though, because next week at five weeks before my average last frost date, I'm gonna be starting my melon seeds. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.